it's puzzle time once again with Sudoku Sleuth and we have a very rich puzzle for us today with rupees. Now for the vast majority of people around this world I'm going to say you know we've got one and a half billion of them in India probably neighboring countries and pretty much anyone that doesn't play video games rupees would really be the domination uh, denomination I should say of the currency in India but if you are a video gamer um, if you have played The Legend of Zelda, to you, rupees would always going to reflect the fact that this is sort of the in-game currency. Now, when we look at today's puzzle, which we will do so now, I think this is what the constructor, Rodrigo Mahu, meant, because you've got this very distinctive shape of the rupees from the game. And even the colours, the greens, the purples, very distinctive, so that hexagonal, sort of stretch hexagonal shape is essentially what the in-game currency looks like. Now let's see what else the constructor has put up for us. So, normal Sudoku rules apply, so that means the digits 1 to 9 in every row, every column, and every 3 by 3 box, and that's fairly normal. Digits on a purple line, which is essentially half of every rupee we see on here, um, form a set of consecutive non-repeating digits in any order, essentially Renban lines, we're familiar with those on the channel. And then digits along green lines have a minimum difference of five. And again, we've got half of every rupee is essentially a green line. And normally we would be calling these German whispers, so for example, if this is a seven, um, this would have to be five away, one or two, this would have to be five away, this would be six, eight or nine. And you can see essentially we're oscillating between high digits, 6, 7, 8, and 9, 1, 2, 3, or 4, and then back again. So high, low, high, low. Notice in my example I've not listed 5 and no prizes for conf confirming why that's the case, because if there is a 5, 5 away from that would be 0 or 10. And whilst I can sort of somewhat input these into the software, none of these are allowed under normal Sudoku rules. That's all the rules we have today, and we also know that Rodrigo has been very generous. He's given us a 1 in box 5 here to get us started, and really only 5 rupees. So if you want to play along, if you want to get rich, collect all these rupees. I think if they are green in the game, it's normally 1. Purple, I admit, I can't remember, it might be 5. So we've got 25 rupees potentially at stake here. Link will be in the description down below as per usual, and with that said, let's restart the clock and see how we get on. Now, in my example of German whispers, let's start with box 5, because I think I've spotted something in the construction here. Now, I don't know if this is low or high, so I'm just going to pick orange. I don't know if this is low or high, but I know it's opposite to orange. I'll pick yellow. Now. Notice that this Remband line is telling us that there are opposite polarities on the same Remband. So we know that there is a 5 in here, for sure, because it can't be on the German Whispers line. We also know that there has to be not only 5, but 4 and 6. And the reason I picked 4 and 6 is, you know, even if this is a high and this is a 7, Clearly, 6 is going to have to be somewhere on this line to get to 5 and to get to the polar opposite digit, which is 4. Now, this is only 3 cells, so we need one more digit to make up the 4-cell Remban line. We need a 3 or 7. And essentially, I think we're looking at the composition of all the lines, kind of all the Remban lines that we have here. You see, this one is very deliberate because it actually gives us our first break-in, I think. We need one low, one high digit. Now, this clearly cannot be a six because a six, five away would be a one. We'd end up repeating the one in here. That's not possible. So no sixes, meaning there is a seven. And I'm going to say that means there is no three. Yes, seven, six, five, four. Can't get to three if there is a 7, so we end up with a 4-7 pair and a 5-6 pair, and that's our Remban line. 
Now the 7 would need to be next to a 2, the 4 would need to be next to a 9, we're left with a 2 9 pair. And then to finish the box, we've got a 3 8 pair. And I think we have got the first digit. We can't have an 8 on these rupees. Um, 8, 7, 6, 5. We're not going to get to the opposite polarity if we start with an 8. So that's 3, that's 8, that's 2 digits at two and a half minute mark. Uh, maybe some colors now. And therefore we know that this is high, and this is high, this is low. If you have a three on a Remban line, three, four, five, this has to be a six. This is a four, five, four, five pair, yeah. Uh, this has to be a one. There's no other digit that can be five away from a six. And this is eight or nine. I think we've kind of milked these two rupees for all they're worth. Let's just complete these. So we said these are from three, four, five, six, seven. No six in here. No five. Has to be a seven. If there is a seven, we've proven already in box five. Can't have a three as well. So that's the same shape as this one. That's a four, seven pair. This has to be five, six to join them. I'm betting, yeah, that's a six. Therefore, this is also a four, seven pair, five, six. Um, this would need to be next to a two, nine again. You see this one is eliminating one as a possibility. So that's two and nine. Four seven pair in here. Do we need to look at this one yet? Just there's these were helpful because we had the six looking at them. So I will take a look at this in a minute. Normally when I say this, I'll look around for other clues. I end up exhausting everything else and coming back to it. So I will come back to it. Just skip ahead five minutes of me wasting time looking at every other clue before coming back. I'm wondering if I should be thinking about fives now. So here's a bit of a thought experiment. We know fives have to be on every Remban line and not at the end where it's a German whispers as well. You can see we've got five pairs in here forcing the five to be there in box four. Got fives looking up there, fives looking up here, fives are none of these. These two are a five. I'm going to say this has to be the five because they're different digits. So this couldn't have been a five because essentially that would be saying these are double four, breaking this Rembat line. So that's the five, that's the four. We have a five, six pair, five, six pair. There's a five, six pair in here. This normal Sudoku, five, six pair, five, six pair. That means fives are not in any of these. In fact, fives here and fives here, five is not in any of these. This is a five, not five, not five, five in here. That's all the fives cornered. Five, six, five, six tells us there's a six in here, meaning six is in none of these big revelation. Six, unusually, unusually. I'm going to just think this through for a second. So six is, six is, means six is not in there. It's on the bottom row in box seven. I don't think I can place a six in here. It would require a double one. And I think we've said the lowest digit we can put on this Remban line is a three. I um, don't know why I have a rogue one here. Let's just get rid of that. So that six is not there. It's in one of two places now. Doesn't feel like enough. Um, what do we have in here? We've got nine for sure, because we've got a four somewhere. And either one or two, well, 
9 gives us this digit, this is definitely an 8. Gives us an 8 in here. Not very helpful. More obvious things that 4 gives us. This is a 7. This is a 4. Places a 7 up here in the corner. This 4 is also looking at this 7, 4. So actually this gives us now the polarity of these colors. This is blue. This is red. And we can actually fill this in now. 9, 2. I say fill this in. We're still, we're not really doing a lot with these red band lines. They are helpful. It's just, you know, we can place 5s and 6s and 4s. Just I'm surprised we've still not resolved any of them. One exception aside. Um, remember how I said skip five minutes ahead? Time to take a look at this <laughs> rupee. So this is three, four, five, six, seven. Fives are not on the end. These three are not sixes. Did I do this correctly? No, I didn't. Let's try that again. Three, four, five, six, seven. Um, this is nothing. This is not. The number of these are five. This is not a six. If it's three or four, because there is an eight, that's a nine. It's a seven. It can't be a seven. And it can't be a six. That's low. Low and high. Not three, four, not seven. This has to be a nine because eight is not available. This is one or two. And this is, there's definitely a five. I'm gonna say seven is not on here. Because if there is a seven, it would have to be on the end, doesn't it? No, I'm not sure that's correct. This could be 6, 1. This could still be, yeah, this is 6, 1. That's 4. You can still have 5, 7. So, no, I'm not sure I can remove anything from here just yet. I can remove the 6s because of these pairs. I can't remove the 7. I can't remove the 5s. I can't remove the 3, 4s. Interesting. So I did come back to it, it's just not been particularly helpful. Oh, come on, this four, that's a three. There are no sevens on here anymore. Six, one, that's not, this is four, five. There we go. This one is looking here, this one is looking there. This is a one line pair. What else do we have in here? It is four seven. It's not in this column. It's got to be down here. So there are fours and sevens on the bottom row. Not exactly a big revelation. Places a four here, which is again not another revelation either. Feel like this is not what I should be looking for. Uh, maybe some simple Sudoku. I've been kind of missing that quite a bit so far. So one, two, still need three, still need eight and seven. So let's just put all of these options down for a second. All of these possible, that's not an eight. Doesn't feel like enough. Come on, column four, I should be able to do this. Yeah, that's a one, that's a two. Notice no one in here, that's the one. In fact, I can do better, I can just place it. I'm left with three, seven, and eight, presumably. So that's three, seven, eight, that's three.
be your eight. Can I do more? So twos are here. So we've got a face two, eight, nine, and three. Yeah, two and three have to be up here. That's eight, nine. That's now one, six, I'm going to say. I'm happy with that. This is now four, seven, and eight, except I said this is not four or seven. That's an eight. These, is, these are not eight, that's four and seven. Seven is in one of these two. loads of progress but it's just still not giving up its secrets isn't it it's kind of fighting you every step of the way two three eight nine that's one two three eight and nine i don't know if i want a pencil mark there that's everything four is up here no not very helpful what about the six? Place them in there. Six. Okay. Know where these six is. And these six is. We know it's up here. I'll look at that. This six was looking up. Five, six, five, four. Six was in none of these. This is now a six. Um, what else? So this is joined, this seven is joined with either a three or an eight based on what's up here. So that's three, seven or eight, not four, three, seven or eight, that's not a three. And down this side, we need to have a two and nine for certain, not a nine. Look at that, come on. How many obvious things am I missing here today? Five, six. Seven, four, not seven. This is now the three eight that we were talking about. This is the seven. And then there's a three eight joining the two nine in here. Let me just do this two nine three eight and start eliminating some options. That's not three or nine. It's not two or eight. So we need three eight or two. Not nine either. In fact, nine is placed. What am I doing? Um, this is two, three, or eight. And yes, this is also two or eight. And then one of two, three, or eight is. Well, there's definitely an eight in here. There's no. Actually, this is three, four, seven now. Three, four, seven. That's not three. Not three either, it's a two eight pair. Looking up here, what do we need to complete this? We need a three, nine, and not two, one, two, and five, obviously. That's the five because we've got three and nine looking at it in the row. That's three, nine, that's three, nine as well. This seven, yep. I know these are seven now. Do we have these three fours broken by anything? Nope. Two eight and three eight. Also no. Surprising. Five sixes, not yet. The two nines, the three eight. Okay, so we have a two nine and an eight and another digit in here. That digit is a seven. That's not an eight. So hang on. So we've got three eight pair. We need a two nine to join the seven. What is this digit? Two 
This was on a German whispers line. We actually know the order of this. That's two, that's nine. Um, this is not a two. This is from four, seven, and nine. This is a seven. This is not seven anymore. That's a four, nine pair. Have I left any other German whispers? Nope, that was the last one. This two and nine doesn't seem to give us anything else. So what goes in here? We need an eight only have been here. We need another two pair, which is three, can only be there, and two. Now we're left with one and five, that's the one, that's the five, two, three, seven, eight. Two, eight, two, three, eight. I'm kind of surprised some of these are still persisting so much. What more do we have? Let's take a look over there. This five does some work for us. Six, five, six, five. That's not a six anymore. That's a six. We need three, four, seven. One more digit is a two. It's not in here. It's not in the other two. That's two, three, two. Not three. Three, eight, or nine. All are still available. Two, seven, eight, all are available. If I missed anything in here, four. Yeah, we need a four. Three, seven, eight, or nine. Seven, eight, nine. We need one and two. That's definitely the one. That's four or nine. No, it's not. That's a, that's the missing two. That's from seven, eight, or nine. It's not. It's a seven or nine. Three, nine, three, seven, nine. Three, seven. Of course it is. Right. That's everything pencil marked. Three, seven pair. That's a four. Eight, nine pair. That's a three. That might be enough. Eight, four, two, three, Two, eight. We need seven, eight pair in here. What else am I missing? Three, seven, three, seven. Yeah, that's a three, seven, nine, three, nine, eight, seven, eight, seven. Eight, and if I've not made any mistakes, nine, 20 minutes. Fantastic puzzle. Um, I, I think, you know, I, you shouldn't be put off by my time. I think it's a simpler puzzle than I made it seem. I was just missing a lot of just simple Sudoku. But once you basically figure out what these rupees are meant to look like, you know, the puzzle basically falls down very quickly. You just need to sort of persist with staying on top of normal sudoku rules um, i hope you enjoyed it as much as i have let me know in the comments and with that said hope to see you back for the next video bye for now